one of the perks of staying at the Royal Mansour is that we can fast track through that entire queue, yay! And just go straight into Morocco. Come on. <laughs> Gorgeous people, I am so excited to be here in Marrakesh. Um, as you can see behind me, there's some rather spectacular Christmas decorations going on. That's because I'm actually here at the Royal Mansour, which is basically one of the most beautiful hotels in all of Africa. I'm going to be staying here for a few days, um, and it's going to be like a beautiful spa trip. I'm here with some other travel influencers who I'll introduce you to in a bit. Um, but we've got a really fun packed uh, three days here. We're going to be having gorgeous spa treatments um, pretty much every day, which I'm very excited about. Uh, we're also going to be going on a hot air balloon ride. And then also, um, rather excitingly, we're going to go head into the Medina, into the souks. So kind of the old kind of shopping areas, which is absolutely spectacular. Um, so, uh, yeah, so let me tell you a little bit about the hotel, because as you can see, it's pretty amazing. Um, so basically, the Royal Mansour was built by the King of Morocco, um, and he built it as a little mini palace uh, in the middle of Marrakesh. But actually, when you come inside, it's kind of laid out as though you're in the center of Marrakesh. So you don't even need to leave the hotel. Uh, each of the bedrooms is actually a riad, so you get an entire palace, um, which is a riad, R-I-A-D, um, to yourself, which is amazing also. Um, so I'm going to show you around the hotel. Firstly, the Christmas decorations, incredible. Also, the beautiful kind of pink walls all around the area um, and the incredible indoor, outdoor swimming pool spectacular spa basically this hotel is off the charts so i'm going to show you around so come with me <laughs> at the Royal Mansour. It's very, very special. So you don't just get a bedroom, you get the entire Riyadh. So you get three floors of complete and utter luxury. So as you arrive into the room, you come into this beautiful um, atrium, which is gorgeous, just to kind of welcome people in. And there's three floors, so I'm going to show you around the ground. You come into this beautiful living room area, which has a gorgeous log fire, and sofas and a little um, drinks area over there. And then we've got this gorgeous seating area and they've given so many lovely goodies. So we've got oranges and biscuits. I've already eaten some, so there we go. And we've got some lovely wine here. And then also, They've got a huge widescreen TV here with Netflix, uh, but there's TVs on other floors and it's all just amazing. So come upstairs with me. And then you come through to this beautiful bedroom section. Can I just point out how gorgeous these doors and wood panelling with kind of elaborate detail everywhere. It's just stunning, like a real palace. And then you come through to this huge bed with beautiful kind of ornate decorations, the most amazing headboard you've ever seen in your life. This is like fit for a king or a queen, it's so beautiful. There's like a lovely dressing table, big, big wardrobes here, and even everything's so beautifully detailed. The wardrobes have these gorgeous painted sections. And then this bit, da -da, is a beautiful bathroom. So we've got the toilet here, and then we've got all his and hers accessories. And look how amazing this marble room is. We've got a huge, huge bathtub here, which is fantastic. And also a huge shower head there. I had a shower this morning and it was lovely and dreamy and hot. Um, but I just wanted to point out as well, they've got this new um, Morocco Morocco um, products, which are the coolest products to be using in Marrakesh at the moment. And this one, this rose cream smells amazing. I used it already. So as you come up to this amazing rooftop terrace, 
It's got beautiful views all around, lovely little sunbeds, gorgeous umbrella to keep you shaded. And there's, it just looks like you're inside a Medina with all the pink, gorgeous walls. It's so beautiful. And then over here, this is super special. You get your own little plunge pool and it's lovely and warm as well. So I will be definitely getting into that later. So tonight we're having dinner at the Moroccan restaurant here at the Royal Mansour and it's very, very special. So I'm very excited. Um, but how beautiful is this kind of blue atrium area? They've put a gorgeous Christmas tree in here and we're going to be trying lots of traditional Moroccan specialities. So come with me. We're in for a feast. We've got a Moroccan feast here at La Grande Table uh, Moroccan, which I think is basically the grand table in Moroccan, which is a beautiful restaurant here at the hotel. Um, I'm here with the gang. Hi guys! Hello! Everyone's here. Um, and we've got a beautiful musical accompaniment at the back over there. So come and join us. just reached a thousand meters above sea level and it's but it's really beautiful and peaceful up here as well. You can see all the balloons behind me. It's a little bit chilly, uh, but we're all enjoying it, aren't we guys? Loving it. It's very mindful and peaceful. <laughs> So I'm getting a little flight ticket to prove that I went on the hot air balloon, which is very exciting. And then we're about to have breakfast in this gorgeous little Bedouin tent. It is my favourite time of any trip. Um, I'm at this beautiful spa at the Royal Mansour and I'm about to have a hammam treatment. So that's an, a wonderful kind of traditional Moroccan treatment in the hammam room. And it's like all heated and warm in there. And then they put you on a slab, give you a massage, um, cleanse your body with all this like foam, wash your hair. Like I'm exhausted. I've been, we flew in yesterday at four in the morning and then we're up this morning for the hot air balloons at six. So yeah, I need a hair wash <laughs> and I need a lovely massage and a, and a really nice chill out. So I'm off to the hammam. And on that note, I'm gonna have a bit of me time. So I shall see you later. Bye bye. <laughs> As you can see from the bowls just over there, we've got a sound healing gong bath, um, which would be lovely. So basically we're gonna lie down on the little beds and then they're gonna play little kind of tunes in these Tibetan bowls, like a whirling sound. And it's um, apparently the frequency is meant to make you feel all relaxed and amazing. So uh, yeah, watch this space.
excited today. We've got lunch at The Nest, which is just behind me here. If you can see this gorgeous kind of treehouse structure. Um, it's a beautiful treehouse in the middle of the gorgeous gardens here at the Royal Mansour. Um, so we've got um, a beautiful lunch up high. Um, so come and join me, it's gonna be lovely. of Marrakesh and they're at this really beautiful incredible building which is actually a Quranic school but I'm going to ask our lovely guide to, to say what it's called it's called Madrasa bin Yusuf <laughs> Madrasa bin Yusuf exactly. is that good? yeah <laughs> but um, we've come really early in the morning because it's much emptier um, so I would recommend coming around nine in the morning and it's uh, it's beautiful in here Stall, which is just behind me. Um, it's near Cafe de Spice, which is over there. And this is like a whole kind of open air market. It is stunning. And this man is showing me his pomegranates, which is marvelous. It's literally our last day here at the incredible Royal Mansour. I'm literally devastated to leave. I really don't want to leave here. It's like, I felt like a princess living in a palace for the last few days. I think my favorite bits were, I mean, the spa here was unbelievable. Um, all the massages um, and the beautiful kind of heated indoor pool and also the hot air balloon ride going into the Medina. Like Marrakesh is unbelievable and it's such a brilliant winter sun destination. So if you have any questions, definitely let me know. Leave me a little comment uh, in the comments below. Um, and also please do like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video because every little helps. And uh, hopefully I will see you very soon. Bon voyage! <laughs>